All right, uh, my name is Doug, and uh, Andrew isn't here, so I have TJ and uh, Mike, and uh, welcome to the Bathroom Podcast. Hey guys, um, real quick before we get into this podcast, uh, I recorded it um, while Andrew is in the field currently. Um, so we have a little filler between these uh these two weeks that he's gone. Um so I just cut it up a little bit. Some of the best clips of a conversation me and my friends we were having um during a podcast. So um Andrew will be back next week. We're gonna do the Halloween special. Make sure you check that out and uh thank you for watching. What up? Thanks and for then, having us. Yeah. Fucking asshole. Hello. <laughs> And then it goes into like the fucking music that you cut out and shit. <laughs> yeah, that's how it sounds. It's like a Mario theme song. Yeah, it's fine. I'll do a little bit of editing. I'll actually do my job a little bit on this podcast. And Andrew's uh. a funny one. I just edit. <laughs> I get it, yeah. yeah. Right now he's out um, shooting gunnery for three weeks. So. Oh, yeah? Oh, he's still in the army? Yeah, he is. How much longer is he in? Is he got? He's got staying. He's got two more years, and then he, uh, he's trying to go National Guard and stay in Texas. Mm-hmm. So we'll still be able to continue it, but he's still got two years of bullshit. So have we? We haven't played games with him, have we? Has he played Among Us with us? Um, I think he hopped in last week, not last week, but the week before, for like ten minutes. And then he hopped out. He was in my stream, and apparently he had my stream pulled up while he was, like, clapping cheeks. Because <laughs> he's, he's recently divorced after we got back from Korea. So he was, like, clapping cheeks. And uh, right. and then he, he put in my chat, he was like, he was like, she heard you say that. <laughs> like, I was, I was like, I laughed at him because I said, Andrew's clapping cheeks right now. And he was with her, and her, she heard oh. me say that on the stream. On the fucking stream. I was like, why do you have it up on your TV? <laughs> Oh my god. While you're banging, you like bone into my voice, man. Like, uh, you really get him going, huh? I'm, I'm good, <laughs> boys. Shit, yeah. All good. Apparently, voice. my battery is like so fucking dead that it's taking power directly from the brick and the adapter. Yeah. But not from the battery. So, as long as it's plugged in, which it should be, if there's no like earthquake in Watch the Chicagoland area, we should be good. Yeah, shit's gonna blow up. <laughs> Worst case, I can just switch the voice. On, uh... It's gonna be like uh, un unfriended. Uh, have you ever seen that movie? I've never seen it, but I assume it's just people like... sitting like this, and then one of them dies from their computer exploding. Oh, or something. that's like that movie where like they do something stupid, and, or I don't know what they do specifically, but then like out of nowhere, like some of them start dying off, and they're trying to figure it out who's like why they're dying, like through a. But that's Final no? Destination. <laughs> you're, you're, no, 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 no. I'm talking specifically about like webcam God. shit, like webcams only, where like they're talking with each other on webcams, and one of them dies, like their power cuts out, and they're like, "Oh my God, I'm so scared!" Then like fucking. I, it like, could be. I don't know. I haven't seen it. Out. I just assume. It sounds like a Black Mirror episode. Yeah. Black Mirror is the shit, though. Black never Mirror's never good. seen it. Just guessed. <laughs> it's good. Some yeah? episodes are better than others. Yeah, that's good. And it's like every episode's a one-off, so you really, you've never seen it. No, I've never seen it. It's fucking old news, man. I know it's old news. My sister watched it when it came out, and she was like, you need to watch this. And I was like, okay. Fucking never blew did. it off. It's now. good, like, if you don't want to watch, like, a whole series, because, like, like TJ said, like, every episode is, like, independent to itself. Oh, it is. So, like, okay, that's what you were talking about. Yeah, so it doesn't it doesn't like continue, and like so one episode will be about like these. You can have these contacts where you can like find out everything you want about someone. And then so like like they start I don't know what it is like they start dating or something. And this other one is like, what's that movie where Justin Timberlake has like time on his hand and in you time. pay for more time? In time. In, in time. In time. Yeah, yeah. I've heard of that it's movie. One of I don't think I've like ever that. seen that one either. The movie was all right. Honestly, I watched it expecting it to be like pretty mediocre. But I thought the movie was all right. That's good. It's another one of like your basic kind of like dystopian world movies. Yeah. You ever seen uh, what's that show? It's on Netflix. Uh, Love, Hate, and Robots. No, but Nick was telling me about that. That is a show thick. and a half. Like the the animation and the uh, yeah, I guess just the animation, the graphic detailing, and all the different episodes is different, and by different small studios. So it, yeah, it's really good. 
They're yeah, all independent stories. Oh, all right. So one of the things we talked about on the podcast, like, fuck. It was like four or five podcasts ago with our buddy Sam. He was saying <clears throat> all people should have their top three porn categories on their back windshield <laughs> of their car. Oh God, I like your top, <laughs> your top three porn categories. <laughs> and I wanted to see how you guys wanted to weigh into that conversation. Like, do you no. agree that people should have their top? Because then you know who's no. like, like if you're friends with someone and they go. Bro, I enjoy um, being friends with my friends. <laughs> <but> <laughs> It's like when you find out your friend is like secretly really racist. Like <laughs> he's got those fucking like you know hentai body pillows in their fucking closet. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're like oh god, like it's like the. You know, um, like, we can I mean, still like game, I feel like, like you're not coming. I feel to the like you could definitely. I feel you definitely find out a lot about someone with their top three categories. I don't know why, you but could, I feel you like could. Like, oh, this guy's like you could because like, what guy's if you probably, like it's some normal vanilla shit, but like oh this guy's dark. Like he's not like bondage bondage, but like he's borderline BDSM like. Like tie me up, but like don't be too rough type shit. I'm yeah, but that's like, but that's not that bad. That's not that bad. But yeah, like, what if you saw like like, like under fourteen it. on someone's back windshield? Oh, oh, yeah, like I you could never you could never talk to all them right. like a normal human <laughs> being again. Okay, yeah, all right. So you would I know you exactly. Like say, no, yeah, yeah if like you midget uh, zombie like. No, I yeah, interracial yeah. midget zombie. Porn. You can be into what you're into, and I, I don't think most friends like if you're friends, you wouldn't really care what your friends into. Well, we'd but care like if, to it, clown yeah, clown them is fine. But like, <laughs> it, say say you have like um, redheads, and then you have like stuck porn, like where they're stuck in the washing machine, and then you have like some some out like off the pillow. wall category that is like fucking like foot jobs or something. You're definitely making fun of them. Right off the bat, I mean, and but it's like I a mandatory like law. Normal. You got to do like, it now. for the most part. Because, mm-hmm. like, if you have like a buddy who's like his top three categories are like alien zombie porn, um, interracial midget porn, and then and, and then movie pop, knockoffs. Like, oh, yeah, nobody so likes like, nobody likes not... movie knockoffs. Speaking of alien porn, Tug, you remember that movie that we used to not movie the YouTube video from like uh, senior high school die fantasy. Um, no, I don't think we so. We showed everyone that, and we had the same English class, right? Probably, at some point. I don't, I have or, hit my head so many times since then that I don't remember <laughs> much oh, of man. it, but oh, what was it about? Oh, it's, it's an experience. It's a music video. Music video. D-Y-E. I, I'm sure I've seen it. Pull it up. What's Just it about? It. What's it about? It's a fucking D-Y-E. music video. What's the song Fantasy. about, though? Let me let me see. What do you mean? I don't know. It's just like a like an indie song, and the video is just kind of abstract. Oh, is that, that is the one. Yeah, that is the one where the the you, the yeah, monster that's... goes up inside her <laughs> vagina or something. Yeah. Wait, don't play it. Don't play it. We'll get copyright infringement. But <laughs> is she like stuck in a? Is that the one? They're at the pool, That's like so fun, dude. Yeah, they're at the pool yeah, just saying, like, out. She just she just took off her pants, but like her panties came off with her pants. Oh, I see. That dude, as a teenager, this might be like intrinsic. This might be a turning you're point. You, yeah, you're not far enough yeah, into the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that video is oh, fucked shit. up. This is on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fucked. I remember this, like, uh, anime pop slash. Mike's about to like you... cut the cut the screen out. And be like, I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> He's fucking beating his dick to the vagina monster. <laughs> God. What oh, the fuck God. is inside of? Why is it like? <laughs> Look at his... <laughs> What's like, his what hand? Fuck? Is his hand like the vagina monster? Dude, I don't think I've watched a video like since high school. I don't oh know. I don't God. think so. All right. I mean, do I want to hear Doug has you shit do. inside of a bag outside yeah. the army? Outside so the army, yes. What it was this eighth grade, like freshman year high school? It was before high school. Around. Yeah, I think we were still yeah. in middle school. Yeah, like yeah. So summer, I think, and, and a couple friends, a couple other guys over at my house were just chilling, and we're like, you know, like, what, what do you want to do? So we're like, oh, we can go like ding dong ditch this girl or something. And then someone was like, 
Nah, bro, we should put like a like a fucking flaming bag of shit on our doorstep, right? So we're like, I'm all right, we're like, who the fuck's gonna do this? And Doug's like, yeah, I, I'll do it. I don't give a fuck. So I was them. We're like, going, you know, this is back when we're like Wait, living neighbors. I've thought no, of, I've thought about this all the time, right? And why didn't we just grab dog shit? From like your backyard that's not or as something, because because <laughs> we're young guys and we're doing this. We didn't even think about it. We didn't even say. Actually do it. Yeah. So 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 we buy like a fucking. We got like a paper bag. We got some toilet paper. And we didn't even do it in the backyard. Like he did it down the where block. Did, like is that so where? Oh, on. that's <laughs> the house where like we used to steal the fucking the Christmas the lights. Christmas lights. Yeah, yeah, I did it. I did it oh, right but, on their front lawn. <laughs> Yeah, so, so he's shitting in his bag in their front lawn, dude. Dude, and do you remember the neighbors across the street towards were like, like in, they in were the in their doorway watching? <laughs> so so we're gone, right? I mean, like I, I don't even remember what you did with the toilet paper. I don't remember. Maybe you put it in the bag. All right, so we're walking down the block. Uh, what's his name? Found a frog and threw it at me. Oh, it's not I really don't remember that. Story, yeah. but I, I just remember that. Like, <laughs> and, you know, we get there and we realize, like, we don't have a fucking lighter, right? <laughs> so, like, we completely forgot. So, like, well, we came too far. So, we put the bag on our doorstep and just rang a doorbell and left. But, like, we didn't want to go Effective. back and never found it. Nobody so came out. We, like, star, we star six, nine, star six, nine called her. Yeah. And she's like, yo, like, go on your doorstep look in this far. bag. And she's like, <laughs> She's like, what is it? We're like, dump it out. <laughs> it's like, oh, and she, it's like it and she dumped my shit onto her front porch. <laughs> oh, rough time. I don't, think I, I don't think she ever talked to any of us again. Uh, no, I, I I'm really pretty sure. Again, I'm pretty sure my senior yearbook she wrote. Thanks for shitting on my front doorstep or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> so, well, I went with Tom last Friday. Um, it was an interesting time. Dude, and, like, it was raining outside, so I think the rain would keep away most of, like, the bad and naughty people. And But it didn't, because these ATMs are under, like, these overhangs. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to say it as politically are, correct as I possibly can. Are you telling me that gangbangers are afraid of the rain? No. That- All I'm saying is... Is that what you just oh. said? No, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. When it's really cold, nobody's out in the south side. Nobody's nobody's out anywhere. It's cold. <laughs> exactly. But when it rains, it's like fuck, exactly. man. We can't be on the corner. So anyway, so this is. I thought about this earlier. I didn't write it down. That's what I got the fucking whiteboard for. Was so I would just write down ideas as they came to me. Ticket prices, right? Have you guys had speeding tickets in Illinois? No, but I know people. Who I've have. I've never got a ticket in my life. Do you know how much they are, bro? A speeding ticket, so, like fucking two fifty, like for two, like, the cheapest like two fifty, right? That's I, not true. No, 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 no. that's it's true. Just like, like, I, I had like seven speeding like, tickets in Illinois. Yes, <laughs> like that is. Yeah, and if you're doing. It depends where. If you're in a school zone, it's going to be higher. If you're doing oh, like yeah. 10 to 15 over, it's going to be lower. If you're That's doing 250. Like, yeah, 10 to 15 like over is 250. Dude. Yeah. Dude, so that traffic violation is that's, 20. That's what I got here in Texas, right? But my problem was assuming that all red states, like all like uh, very conservative states, gave you low ticket fines for small crimes like speeding, right? right. Mm-hmm. So I went, uh, I was driving from Washington to i was driving to illinois and i was hauling ass through montana and i was going like 95 and an 80 i think and the dude pulls me over and gives me a 40 dollar ticket 40 dollars i thought when i got a ticket last week i thought that i was gonna get a 40 dollar ticket my first one in texas because something you don't know until you move around the whole country and get tickets in every state (laughs) Is that they only track them by state. So the well, yeah. the Texas has no clue of my fucking Washington driving history, my Illinois driving history. So they thought I was like a like a I don't have like ten tickets under my belt already. So he was like <laughs> he was like he was like, uh yeah, so uh it it's gonna be your first ticket. 
in uh, Texas today, and uh, it's gonna cost you uh, two thirty-five. And I was like, uh, <laughs> "You ever seen that meme of uh, Sully from Monsters Inc.?" And he goes, mm. <laughs> "No, uh, that's a good one." No, but he, uh, yeah, I was, I was or pissed no, off. Seen that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was pissed off in assuming that all conservative states gave you oh low ticket God. prices for speeding ticket so i was speeding around here like it was nothing and i haven't gotten a ticket in three years being here but yeah rough time dude i, I got out of a ticket when i got pulled over racing someone nice how i don't know i, I fucking lost dude this was like i lost ago. dude yeah <laughs> you i think smoked. you charged I don't know why I didn't just for the other guy being probably a- like damn the dude's in a fucking you know 335 i like that that's just got twin turbos like i'm not catching him so he pulled me over <laughs> What were you He's driving? Like, oh. I was driving one of those little three thirties, like my mom's old car. Oh, okay, yeah, I know what you're talking yeah, about. So, so I mean, like, it's a, qu- it's like, it's quick. It's a quick little. It's car. stick, it's isn't like, it, or is fast. it automatic? No, no. Okay. No, my car now is stick. Okay. But uh, yeah, I got fucking dusted, and well, you know, there's fucking you know lights behind me. I'm like, oh fuck. Yeah. And I'm pulling over, like we we came from the fucking bar, but I had like literally one drink yeah so like i wasn't really too worried about it but i think i was with ryan and sam mm-hmm. right the two biggest tweaks in our whole friend group so they're <laughs> so, freaking the fuck out oh no. they're drunk. They're like, oh. <laughs> and i'm like guys fucking relax they're like let me do the talking let me do the talk i'm like no guys, i'm drunk. the one driving <laughs> like, me... the fuck up for like 10 minutes and let me talk to this goddamn you know guy walks up he's like uh is was this okay? lombard yeah, yeah, this is in Lombard. So he's like, hey, you know, how's it going? Do you know why I pulled you over? And I was like, yeah, you know, I, I, I was speeding. Yeah, like, you, just be like honest with going, them. I was best. going like, yeah, I was, I was going like 15 over. It was, yeah. I was like, I told him, I was like, I'm going to be honest. I didn't see you. I didn't think anyone was here. I'm not trying to fucking bullshit you. Yeah. I was going too fast. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, so like, you know, what have you guys been up to? And I was like, oh, we're just, you know, going to a friend's Bowling. house. I just picked some buddies up from the bar. Like, we're just going to hang out and go home. Like, nothing crazy. He's like, all right, all right. So then uh, then he's like, oh, like, you got any, like, priors? I was like, no. He's like, all right. So here, take your stuff. I'll run your stuff. He's like, uh, he's like, if you don't have any other, like, prior, like, speeding tickets or anything like that, he's like, then I'll let you go. I was like, all right, well, then have a good night. <laughs> and he's, like, <laughs> he's like, oh, you're not free yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he just gets in the car. He sees he pulls up, and he's like, "Yeah, you guys stay safe. Have a good night." And he just left. Oh, that's cool. That's freaking that's you know, super like, chill. Yeah, I, I got uh, they were like freaking out. Like, yeah. Why? Like, why did you fucking say that to him? Like, blah blah. blah. And I was like, "I play it cool, man." Yeah, dude. You get like if you're if you're honest with the cop, and he yeah. knows you're trying to be honest, then it's like, yeah, it's, it's usually pretty chill. Honest, like it's that's usually solid I've been privilege. I've gotten out of a couple of tickets, like headlights, and all that shit. <laughs> I've gotten out of like tons of tickets. I've gotten yeah. Just, just, I didn't get out of any tickets as a kid ever. Like they gave me tickets every time they saw me. Uh, I got pulled over for like <laughs> my my tail lights, my like license plate lights all the time. And every really? time I told them like, dude, like I know I got the light on the way. It's in the mail. I'm just waiting for it to get here. There's always a fucking yeah. lie, right? Yeah. Ass. Dude, I got pulled over in the BMW, and I'm like, dude, like oh, like I got pulled over for my license plate light. And then, you know, he asked me why, like, if I knew, and I was like, "Yeah, I got a license plate light." And I was like, "Officer, I swear, like, I got it in the mail." He's like, I'm "Like, you know, like, it's a BMW, it needs special parts, just yeah. fucking bullshit, because it's a, <laughs> it's a light bulb, right?" Yeah. He's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about, man." He's like, "I got you, we're good." Got you. <laughs> <laughs> have a safe night. Uh, like, thanks, you're no, driving away, like, fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> There's. I probably totally jinx myself next time I get pulled over. I'm fucked. I was a. Uh, I was so unlucky in Illinois that. I was driving with Valerie. She was driving me home from school because I missed the bus after school. Uh, Krisky's wife, Valerie. And so she was driving me home from school. She gets pulled over because I'm not wearing a seatbelt. And the cop comes up to the passenger side. And we're not on the highway, so I thought it was weird that she came up to the passenger side. And she goes, so you're not wearing a seatbelt? And I'm like, uh, yeah, I must have forgot to put it on. We ju- <laughs> we had just left the school. Like we were by um that where I got T-boned at, right by uh Tyler Demito. De- forgot about yeah. that. Yeah, we were right wait, by. Wait, wait, was this in Lombard where you got pulled over? Yeah, yeah, right by. What are those streets called? Was it Do a you blonde? Know? Was it a blonde short cop? 
Oh, yeah, it was a female. Yeah. Was she was she blonde? I don't know. I can't she remember. Did? Was she was she <laughs> mildly uh, irritating? Yes, because she pulled us over because the passenger wasn't wearing a seatbelt, <laughs> and I got a ticket for not wearing a seatbelt in Valerie's car. That sucks. Yeah, that sucks. Tell my dad that he was like, "How did that? How did she even see you do that?" And I was like, "I don't know, dude. Like, I'm fucking, I'm sorry, but I have no money, so you're gonna have to pay this one." <laughs> he, was, he was like, "You're a, you're a fucking idiot." <laughs> like, you mean chop of wood in the back, he was out, so, boy. Yeah, he was so fucking mad at me. <laughs> Oh my god. Like how mad he was when I backed into Krisky's car because he, he parked I didn't it. Know that happened. I, I backed into Chris, the side of Krisky's car because we were both parked at Tyler's house, Tyler DeMito's. Okay. And and Krisky pulled in front of the driveway as I was backing out as a joke, but it was there was snow on the ground. And I couldn't stop because his driveway's like this, and I slid into Krisky's door. <laughs> what a <laughs> what, good joke. <laughs> I was like I was like I was like, you're a you fucking for that? idiot. I, I we didn't have to pay for it. They ended up oh, okay. like my dad talked to his dad, but like yeah, it was fucking, <laughs> I really? was like I didn't do anything wrong. I was trying to leave, and he stopped in yeah, front of the drive. Yeah, like, Jake, like that was pretty fucking. Yeah. It does not seem like in character for I was, him to do. It, Hell yeah. It? No. Did you taste it? I don't know if I want to taste this. What is it? No. Is that your sister's? Yeah, she made a muffin. Oh, I thought it was like a cream pie. <laughs> hell yeah, brother. Yeah, hell yeah. That's you know, funny. if your sister asked her to taste her muffin, like, you can't really uh, say no to that, but. That's, fu- that's funny how the UK has their word for fucking, like, vagina is muff. <laughs> the muff? <laughs> <laughs> who thought of that i do who like some of their that? words like like they don't say garbage they say rubbish i want to start using the word rubbish like oh this yeah, drink mike, is rubbish let me just throw this rubbish on the ground <laughs> mike if you yes, if you said like that it. shit in person i would roast the fuck out of you instantly <laughs> rubbish or, or um like not bullshit I would talk that so hogwash, much shit. you know what i mean hogwash the only one I like is the yes. the bog. I'm gonna go take a shit in the bog. <laughs> Bathroom, yeah. Yeah. Do you know, I remember in, in high school, on uh, or not? Not in, well. This wasn't high school, but this was like for soccer practice when I played for a club. Uh, they, we had this trainer from Britain, and I had this app on my iPod before I even had like an iPhone. I had an app on my iPod that was like British slang translator. So you'd put in a word in English, and it'll translate to the word in uh like British slang. So I was like one day after practice, I'm like, I forgot the guy's Pete. His name was Pete. I forgot. I was like, Hey Pete, like what's a bog mean? He's like, Oh, you mean the bathroom? And I'm like, yes. So I went through like every fucking word. Um, and we went through like at least 30 words and he was like telling me exactly like, Oh, you mean this? He's like, Oh, you mean that? And I'm like, yes. Oh, so I'm like, Holy shit. Proper chop. <laughs> yeah. Pete Fuck. sounds like an OG. Whatever. Man. Yes. Pete was an OG. Funny. Like he took no shit, but, um, so at Western, when I first started at Western, my major is that where you went? Was so Western? Was, yeah, yeah. Could you could you tell? Oh. Yeah. So I went to Western Illinois oh, University, right. and uh, um, so my major was law enforcement justice administration, but my minor at first was military science, and so I took this military science class where there was like we did like map tracking, like how to navigate on a map. Uh, <laughs> we did like this one little program where like you like put in the dope from your previous engagement and then like you're supposed to be able to hit it with like more it was artillery fire not mortar fire and like like the, the, the person like he's like screaming in class he's like fire for effect and i'm like all right whatever um so that was cool but then like my counselor like we were figuring out my classes for next semester she's like so um when when were you planning to enlist and i'm like come again and she's like yeah. It'll, for your minor you know like you have to enlist to be able to complete that minor and i'm like um, no, like, yeah. can we switch my minor? So we switched my mind, but essentially I didn't know you had to enlist into the reserve or no, uh, national guard to be able to successfully complete your military science minor. So I changed it to Homeland security, but yeah, that was the, like the most stressful 30 minutes in her office. And she's like, she like so serious and like nonchalant. She's like, so when's your enlist? When were you planning to enlist? Which semester? And I'm like, yeah. 
What? what? I like, tell you, no. that's a stressful 30 minutes, right? And another stressful 30 minutes is when you're butt ass naked and you're doing a duck walk through some lady's fucking room because she has to check all of your joints to make sure you're fit for military service. <laughs> so, yeah, that was a fun 30 minutes as well. <laughs> like, really. is, Wait, is what, she, what, what joints is she checking? She checks all your joints, like literally everything from your toes to your neck. She checks everything you're doing. So she makes you, you get butt ass naked and then you get, you squat down and you do like a walk, like a waddle kind of, but while in a squat, it's called a duck walk. It, it's fucking super awkward. And she checks Are you your talking like butt ass naked or like butt ass naked. naked. Like my butthole had I fallen backwards would touch the floor and it would fucking just clunch cause it's so cold. And your butt ass is naked. Is that necessary anymore. for this examination? Yeah, I don't think it they is. they look at your hips, they look at your knees, they look at your groin. If it if it's can stretch far enough right and left to be able to do the duck walk, they look at everything. I saw a dude get booted out for not being able to curl his toes all the way. Yeah. Really? Yep. America. That's why they tell you they're like they're like you have the privilege to be here because you uh. You, you, there's a ton of people that can't even pass the, uh, the physical exam to come in. And I'm like, dude, this place sucks. Like, <laughs> I don't want to be in the, I just want college, dude. Like, I don't want to pay for it. <laughs> like, why are you yelling dude, at me? So please? we had this, so like my freshman year in school, like a lot of people were friends, like on the same floor of our building. My building had like 14, 16 floors. So we were on the seventh floor. It was like T7. And there was this one guy named Rob. Rob was like a total fuckhead. Um, <laughs> And so he, he did I like R- the start he, of this. R- Rob R- was a piece of shit, man. This fucking idiot. This bro. fucking he retard. Was. He was. <clears throat> and now he's in the Air Force because he got a DUI and he was a law enforcement major, and so he nice. could never be a cop. So now he's like, fuck it, I'm going in the Air Force. No, Navy, Navy. I'm sorry, he's in the Navy. Oh, um, perfect. But uh, Booyah. he would like, uh, he would always have his uniforms all spread out, like his military, like his ACUs just all over his room, and he would always be Very loud and proud dude. about the Army. But he got, I don't know if he got kicked out. I don't know how it happened, but, like, he would miss PT for, like, he missed PT for, like, three weeks straight. And they would have to get up at, like, five in the morning to go do PT. Um, and he would, he missed it for, like, three weeks years. straight. Like, I don't know if he got kicked out or would it be a dishonorable discharge? I remember, like, his last day, like, like right, like, he told everyone's like, yeah, I'm getting kicked out. Like, we were blasting the Army theme song on the floor. We're just like, he's going to serve and protect our country. Like, like he, he was ROTC? Like, like yeah, he was, retards of the camp. Uh, I mean, uh, Reserve Army. Is that, what they, is that what they call him? That's so funny. If you could hack into anyone's computer, anybody on this whole entire planet, whose computer, or let's just say phone, because who the fuck has a computer anymore? I don't. I don't. But if you could hack into anybody's computer, computer? or iPhone, or whose computer would you hack into? Anybody on this whole entire planet. Aren't we all on computers right now? Jeff Bezos. D- I'd steal all his money. I'd be a billionaire. I don't think hacking into his computer would get you his money. No. I'm just saying, like, just to get dirt. Like, would you hack into, like, Jeff a Bezos. icon? I don't, like, have, like, enemies that I want to, like, fucking ruin. I'd hack into so your about- computer, Mike, and then threaten you to pay me five dollars for telling you that we needed a webcam for this fucking chat. Yeah, we'll, we'll post. Uh, we'll post your search. We'll post history. your top three porn categories. You know, if anyone does know how to use incognito mode, it probably is Mike. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Look, hold on, hold on. I'm at Actually, the yeah. incognito mode. I'm it's at like, the point where on, I don't. Just, I don't even need something. to because I just like don't care. Is I was at NIU, a drunk epitome. I went to my like I had a you know in lab chemistry class, yeah. and I went to fucking wasted once. Like you know like we do like actual like chemistry experiments and shit. My partner was like some like exchange student. Like he grew up in like Africa. Like <laughs> I couldn't pronounce his name. So he's like just call him chief. <laughs> so I just chief was my fucking lab partner, right? So like we had a we had a game like a football game. Like NIU football team is pretty good, and like it's a pretty big deal there. So we're like pre gaming. You know, outside, you know, fucking uh, tailgating, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, with my like fraternity brothers, we're like, it's not a fucking Tuesday. It's when I have I have class at like six p.m. It's like a three hour lab. So like we're pre game before the football game and shit. Like I'm freaking hitting the beer bong. I'm like, fucking, I'm going to class, right? So mm-hmm. I go to fucking class, 
And we're like lighting shit on fire, doing chemical reactions. I'm like, this is fucking sick, this dude. Don't. And by like fucking TA comes up, he's like, are you all right, man? I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm good. Like, whatever. Yeah. And, you know, my fucking lab partner is like laughing at me. He's like, hey, this is a, this is a crazy guy. <laughs> 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 rock and roll baby oh and we fucking do the lab and like somehow we like got a hundred nice like, came like, on dude chemistry's easy baby Let's yeah go. hey <laughs> if i can <laughs> do it yeah. drunk i can definitely do it sober dude <laughs> yeah right yeah, fucking left <laughs> fucking uh all right so i'm gonna have to end this here um podcast you know the, uh, oh, fuck. that thing yeah, we're doing here the yeah dirty, the dirty 630 podcast <laughs> yeah the dirty 630 podcast um so I'm going to link in the description socials for you guys if you want to throw them in there. And then uh, socials for the new Bathroom Podcast Instagram page and Twitter. And I think we're going to make a Facebook fucking page for it. So um, go ahead, follow those. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to get together. And Oh, next week, Halloween special for the podcast, right? Andrew's going to be back. We're going to do fucking um, costumes. And we're going to talk about Halloween bullshit. So that's how it's going to be. Um, yeah. So thank you guys for coming on. I appreciate it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys next time.